Hello again, Michael Freeberg here from beautiful North Carolina. And today I have a new razor to review. It is the DE5 from Fine Accoutrement. I'm sure they say accoutrements, but accoutrement just sounds better. I've used the Fine Marvel and the Fine Slap before, and those are both very, very good razors. And I'm gonna be going through kind of the, the bits and pieces of the DE5. Um, I'm gonna assemble it in a moment, but let's just talk about the top cap first. You may recognize some of these post designs it may look quite a bit like a Gillette old or a new long or a new short comb for the way that those posts are designed. It's kind of kind of a cool retro look. I believe it is a zinc alloy head, but it has a stainless steel screw thread that's been bonded to that because this often is one of the parts where it just snaps off um, because of the chrome plating. And the chrome is also bonded to the material in such a way that it should not be coming off. So there's that. I will also say that the head actually includes stamped on there the designation DE5, so there's no way to forget what it is. And the same holds true for the base plate, which also says DE5. This has an interesting kind of modified open comb look to it. So it has teeth, but very short teeth on the safety bar size, but also on the inside of that lather channel there. So kind of an interesting different look to the way that the, uh, the safety bar is being handled there. Open comb-ish very very short teeth there uh let's talk about the handle this will be quite recognizable they have kept with the particular aesthetic and particularly with regards to the way that the knurling is designed um, it isn't slippery but it doesn't feel like quite enough knurling handle is relatively thick and heavy at this may be a stainless steel core um, that's also been chromed let's go and get the razor assembled i'm going to be using a twice used Gillette Silver Blue. And once I assemble this, you will soon see one of the things that you know that I am personally going to object to, and you'll know in a moment exactly what that is. Let's get it together first, and then I'll show you. So there it is, fully assembled in all its glory. Uh, you can see that the head has um, kind of a really distinct, sharp line here to the top cap. And that's actually something important to bear in mind for when you're shaving. And I'll talk about that in a bit. The blade is actually well curved inside there. They don't give measurements for the blade exposure because in some ways they may well be right in this. The number may fool you into thinking that it's more aggressive or mild. You need to shave with this razor to get a feel for what it's going to be like. And I'll talk uh, explicitly about the way I think in which this razor shaves better than the way in which I might normally use it. Um, as you can see, kind of a cool retro look there, which reminds me a bit of the fat tip but also sort of the uh, the older vintage Gillette's kind of a, kind of a cool look there. Um, but if you take a look at that head, you'll see right away that there is a distinct amount of tab extension there. The tabs are quite exposed. I'm not a big fan of that. Personally, I would like to see those tabs covered. So that would be like, I don't know about a knock, but that's something that I would prefer wasn't the case. Apologies for the glare there. Um, I would prefer for the tabs to be covered, but I understand why that is. But my preference would be cover tabs. All right, before we start to build the necessary ladder, today's soap is going to be Zingari Man, the Gent in the Seago Base. Fantastic soap, great looking label, wonderful scent. That's going to be the soap for today, which you can see here, which I've been lathering like a monster directly in the tub. And the brush for today is going to be, I think this is called the, uh, the Mocha because I believe that this Yaki brush shape is supposed to remind you of one of those small Italian coffee makers that you perch on top of a small open flame and it percolates up, gently bubbling, um, and makes a delicious pot of coffee, honestly. And I think that they think this is the mocha. Wonderful, soft, synthetic knot. After shave is gonna be the Gent Recovery Splash. Let's go and get my face wet again, start lathering up. Talk a bit more about the razor. This is, a good two plus days worth of growth. I'm just gonna wet the brush through um, to start lathering it up. All right, here we go. Get that going. Relatively kind of a dampish knot brush. You know, just a little bit of water in there. Let's get that going. I will add just a touch of water there, but that's already starting to load quite a bit of soap. Actually, if you take a look, you can see there's already some on there. I'm gonna overload just a touch. I'm putting just a drop or two of water in there. Oh, it's a lovely scent. It is accompanied, accompanied by 
a delightfully powerful scent of peppermint wafting from behind me because I had just unwrapped a fresh bar of Dr. Bronner's hard castile soap, the peppermint one, which we use as hand soap in the bathroom. And that stuff smells strong and delightful. All right, I'm gonna drip a bit of water on the face of the brush. You can see there it's a little wet. Let's get lather and talk a bit about, about my experience with the razor. I have shaved with this for more than a week, in part because some personal, personal events have prevented me from doing a review earlier. I wanted to get to this one sooner, but life got in the way, as it always does, as it should. And so I've had a chance to shave with this for more than the normal six days in a standard weekly review. Uh, my initial impressions were good. Then I had some, some issues that I'll talk about as we get shaving, and I'll try to show you what was happening. And then I think I have recovered back to my original impressions, but with some with some different ways of shaving for me. All right, that leather is almost ready. This seagull base, by the way, is just really good. I know people think that it should be updated to sort of, you know, compete in the base wars. I just don't know that that's really necessary. This is still extremely good. A minor incremental improvements. I don't know that they really pay, but we'll see. All right, let's go with that. And let's start shaving. So this will be the with the grain pass, two plus days worth of growth. I'm gonna really make sure. This, by the way, does come with a pack of feather blades, which I'm not gonna use. Feather blades often are just a little too harsh for me. I'm gonna hold on to them, obviously, because I am gonna use them. But in here today, I've used a Wilkinson sword and a Gillette Silver Blue. Those are just two of my favorite blades. They just work great for me. All right, so if you look at that head and you look at the angle of that line of the top cap, that gives you an idea of sort of the angle that you're looking for. Now, I normally shave more towards the safety bar because I tend to hold the handle in kind of a more of a vertical position, which is in due part because I have an issue with my elbow after a break in seventh grade. I cannot pull my arm all the way back. So that, that does affect the way in which I hold my arm and the way I hold the razor. This would be my normal angle, but it does require that you shave it a bit more towards the top cap than the safety bar, which for me feels a little unnatural, but easy and quick to adjust to. You just have to sort of bear that in mind. If you feel this razor is rough or you're getting small nicks or maybe some irritation, I would take a careful look at the angle at which you're shaving. There is some distinct blade feel. It doesn't feel kind of naked or raw on the face, but you can definitely feel it. And if you have a small spot like I do right there, careful, because this is gonna just Take that off. Now, I will say that my initial impression has remained in terms of the face feel. This does feel like one of the older vintage Gillettes. So if you shave with something like an old or a new, this will feel quite familiar. So for me, this requires just a bit more focus because I have to remind myself throughout the shave to hold the razor at a slightly more exposed angle, expressed angle, further out angle, however you want to put it. Less vertical, more horizontal for the handle. No issue shaving off the two days growth.
There we go. Very, very clean, easy. Now, like I said, the key for me there is just kind of slow down a little bit. You know, I've been shaving with this just every day, like I would normally shave with a razor. And in some of the mornings, because of my work schedule, those shaves are a little bit rushed. And often I'm doing a two pass shave where day one I'll do with and across, day two I'll do with and against. And rushing on those days has not paid off. I've either nicked myself or I've gotten some irritation and that's in part because I am not taking the time to sort of adjust for the angle and that is mostly because I am just so used to a particular angle when I'm holding the razor. That's my natural inclination and that's just sort of what the muscle memory puts into place. Mm, God, this is just such wonderful soap. Smells great, works great, good for your skin. Really easy to lather. Can take a fair amount of water. If you like a really kind of wet, sloppy lather, keep going. All right, let's do the across the grain. And this is gonna be focusing on a nice light touch here. And the reason I'm switching angles there is in part because I am getting older. And as I'm getting older, and as I've lost weight, skin on my face is a little bit looser, a little bit softer. And so you got to sort of just take that into account. Normally the razor would just slide over that, but there's just a bit of movement to the skin. It might fold a little bit. And I'm just using a very, very light touch here. This is where the end tabs bother me. These particular strokes where I'm trying to get close to where the Adam's apple pulls out. There we go. I know what you're saying, but you just work around it. Yeah, but I feel like I shouldn't have to. I feel like the razor is supposed to be helping me and not making me do extra work. And in this case, I just wish that that top cap came out further and completely covered the end tabs. And I guess if the argument is, well, but you might need them to adjust the blade in there. You know as well as I do what the answer is to that. And the answer is obviously design the head so that there is no room for wiggle. Because if the head is properly designed and it's holding the blade properly, there's really no reason for you to have to change the alignment of the blade inside the head. And so there's really no reason to leave room at the end to adjust the alignment in the top cap. Simple as that. However, there may be manufacturing reasons because of the way they have to actually, I think this is an injection mold that's used for creating the head, which I'm sure is true for a lot of people. In that case, maybe there's maybe there's just material issues or dimensions or getting you know more heads out of a certain amount of material. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and do pass number three, which as you can see, if you were just shaving every day, that'd be perfectly fine. I got 100% stop right there and that would be totally fine. However, it's a Sunday shave review and there's no way I'm just gonna do two passes. But this is also be the last day for that blade because I'm already starting to develop a little touch of irritation over there and that is a surefire sign for me. That blade needs to go. I know that's probably very disappointing to some in this community that after only a few shaves, but there's also a lot of people that for good reason just don't want to push a blade that far. I'm happy to, happy to go as far as I can, but I don't feel any particular need to try to push them to any kind of extreme number. 
If I get two weeks out of a blade, that'd be fantastic. If I get three shades out of a blade and I start to see some skin irritation, then it's not worth it to me to push it at all. All right, let's dry my hands off. And let's go for pass number three, gentle. That feels okay to me. It doesn't feel great, but it also doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel rough or difficult. Not like it's struggling to cut through. This is definitely a spot where I prefer a milder razor. Let's take a look, see how we're doing. Yeah, I mean, really overall, a very, very nice razor. It's not going to supplant for me the Marvel or the Slant, but as kind of a, a more stout, obviously standard design for the head, this is really nice. And I think that if you like, if you like a little bit of extra blade feel, and a bit more weight, This is going to serve you very well. I will say it is a very close shaving razor and you will definitely feel the blade on your skin. So if you are a, I need to rush in the morning shaver, I don't know this is the razor that I would pick. Take your time, take a bit of care, really let the razor do the work. Pay careful attention to the angle, and I think you'll be quite happy with that. There we go. If you're looking for a mild razor or something that you can kind of shave with a bit more, um, just kind of autopilot, not thinking about it too much, um, I don't know, this would be the one for you. There we go. But as you can see, that is a very nice, clean, close shave. Just a little touch up right under here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, the older that I'm getting and the kind of the looser my skin is, the more I'm definitely gravitating towards the more mild razors. And that has a bit, for me, just a little too much blade feel. So while it is really quite efficient, it isn't as comfortable for me just because I don't really like that, that feeling of the blade on my skin. But that doesn't take away from the way that it's shaved, which is very, very nice. Nice, close, easy, easy shave. Just watch the angle. All right, I'm going to rinse my face again. There we go. Try to get some of the soap off. And then let's towel off. A little bit of aftershave. It's funny because I, <laughs> going back and forth on the, uh, on the Zingari Man, the aftershave, the recovery splash. It's a fantastic scent. It's the gent. It has interesting look. It's milky white. Um, it is a non-alcohol based aftershave and it is also really quite liquid. It, it's, it feels kind of watery. And I don't know, for me, I'm, as much as I appreciate what this does for my skin, at this exact moment, what I miss is that alcohol dry down, which I know it's bad for my skin, but I miss it. On the other hand, this smells good. Gets rid of any kind of irritation or heat if you have it. Goes on easy. 
Yes, I do always rinse my hands after putting it on because it does have a slightly slick sort of skinny feel to it. Um, scent is not pronounced. It's there, but it's not like really strong or overly heavy and uh, it doesn't last too long, but it does make my skin feel really good. Yeah, you can see right there, that's 100% a sign that says that blade must go. So I'll probably take it really easy for tomorrow's shave and then on Tuesday be back in business again. All right, I think we're done, that's it. Let me just put the cap back on the aftershave before there's some tragedy where it falls in the sink and it's open. That would be a disaster. Let's talk about what we used for today. It is the DE5 from Fine Accoutrements, Accoutrement, depending on where you're from. As I said, a very obvious uh, design aesthetic for the handle. You recognize this right away as one of their razors. The head has a mix of kind of a cool old style vintage look here. Base plate and head are stamped with the, uh, the name of the razor. The top cap has these very distinct lines. I think they're meant as a guideline to help you shave. And again, as I said, for me, because I tend to sit, you know, shave towards the bar and less towards the head, this took a bit of adjustment, but it's definitely doable. And an interesting kind of uh, open comb-ish style to the safety plate or to the bottom plate, base plate, whatever word you want to use there. No issue with lather capturing. It doesn't really seem to get clogged at all. That was two and a half days worth of growth. Didn't clog in any way, shape or form. Um, relatively heavy uh, and really quite a nice razor, actually. We've already talked about its characteristics. I won't go over those again. Let's talk about the soap for today. The Seago base from Zingari Man. This is the Gent scent. Wonderful scent. It is listed as citrus, herbs, and musk. Very, very nice scent, actually. And, of course, that was followed up by the aftershave of the same scent. And the lather-covered mocha handle and synthetic brush from Yaki. All right, my friends, I think that is it. I think I'm done. I'm going to rinse off my hands if I just touched all the lather on that brush handle. I think that's it. As always, thank you again so much for watching. If you have questions or anything you want to post against this video or previous videos, please, of course, feel free to do so. Thank you for watching all the recent ones that have just, you know, there's there's a couple more coming. I don't know quite how many. I think I have maybe four or five things in the queue. So they'll be coming out every couple weeks, something like that. Thank you again all so much for the interest and thank you so much for the very, very kind comments. It really does uh, it just made me feel really good to, you know, to see that uh, people are really enjoying these videos again. Thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.